guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here I want to welcome you if you're returning I want to say welcome back today I'm going to show you how I prepare my Christmas black cake or rum cake but before we get started please don't forget to hit the like button it helps the channel out a lot share subscribe and leave a comment down below let's jump right in. Okay guys, so let's take a quick look at the ingredients I'll be using today. Here I have my blended fruit. I have a recipe on how I did it, which I will link in the description box. I also have some butter, some all-purpose flour. I'll be using brown and granulated sugar. I have some browning that I'll be using for color, but if you want to use burnt sugar, you can do that. I have some eggs. I'll be using some lemon zest some vanilla extract and almond extract. I have baking powder and some salt, some cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove powder. Let's jump into the recipe. So the first thing you wanna do is combine all of your dry ingredients. Mix that well and set aside. Next, we'll combine the eggs with the flavors simply to cut that raw taste or smell in the egg. So we will add our almond and vanilla extract as well as the lemon zest. Mix that well and set aside. Now you wanna cream your butter and sugar. You wanna cream it until it's light and fluffy. Occasionally you can go in and scrape the bowl down to make sure everything is being evenly combined and distributed. So once the mixture is light and fluffy, you want to start adding the eggs a little at a time just to prevent curdling. But if by chance it still curdles, don't be alarmed. Your cake will still come out amazing. So once the butter, sugar and eggs are combined, this is how the mixture should be looking. Next we will go in with our fruit. You want to add the fruit mix very well to combine. And then we will add the color here. I like to add everything and leave the flour for last just to prevent over mixing the butter. So the amount of color you add will vary depending on your preference. So if you like a really dark cake, you might have to add more. Or if you like a really light cake, you can add less. And lastly, you want to start adding your flour a little at a time and gently fold it in to prevent over mixing the batter. Now that our batter is completed, this is how it should be looking. This is the perfect texture. You don't want it too soft or too stiff. So now we will go ahead and just transfer the batter into a greased baking pan. So here I prepared a separate pan with some water just to prevent my cake from drying out too quickly because this will bake low and slow in a 350 degree oven. So now we will transfer the batter into the baking pan and we will place it inside of our oven for about two to two and a half hours. After two and a half hours, the cake is now done. It smells absolutely amazing. What you wanna do is go in right away while it's hot and just saturate it with some rum and wine and you know, just allow it to cool down completely before you dig in. After four or five hours, I will show you guys what it looks like on the inside. 
And now for the moment of truth. Guys, when I tell you this cake was so moist, fruity, rich, and delicious, you have to try the recipe. It was so decadent and everything you would want in a fruit cake, rum cake, or black cake. Look at that. I feel like this shot was not doing it any justice, but you know, I had to cut into it properly and show y'all what it really looks like. And this is it, guys. The perfect black cake i hope you guys give the recipe a try if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it and leave a comment down below i will leave all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next one have a good day and enjoy